Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make my air gun. And it's really simple, and it's also very cheap. Sorry about all the noises, that's the water, because I am in the basement. By the way, this is my workshop, and um, it's pretty small. Just a uh, desk and some stuff around it. But, it's better than nothing. So, um... To make the air gun, you're going to need a few things, which I will now put up on the screen. Alright, so once you have all those things, you need to take your um, PVC, you should have about a three foot section, and that's for the actual gun, and um, you're going to need to cut off about two or three inches of a piece, and then stick it in this T. And then you take your half inch ball valve, and it really doesn't matter if you put it on which way, I like to put it on so that the trigger is going like that to release it, instead of backwards, but whatever you want and you just push them in the air gun you take um, for this gun I'm using a 12 liter coke bottle I believe um, for the rest of them I've used a 2 liter so this will be the first time I use a 12 liter so I'm not sure how it's going to work out And um, first of all, you empty it out of whatever's in it. This one had coke in it. You empty it out and make sure the whole thing is dry, which um, you could let it sit for a half hour, maybe an hour, something like that. And then what you do is you take your, where did I put it? Here it is. You take your Gorilla Glue, which I recommend because nothing has ever gone wrong. Well, stuff has gone wrong. But it's all been my fault. This glue works incredible. It's Gorilla Glue. And um, you run around the mouth of the bottle on the inside. Then you stick um, just a little bit of half inch PVC pipe. And um, you put it in the mouth. And it should fit pretty good. It shouldn't slip down or anything. And um, when that happens, you put it in. And you just run. I ran a thin layer of Gorilla Glue around the outside just to make sure that um, it doesn't come undone or anything and um, I put it between the pipe and the bottle so yeah that is how you make the tank for the air gun alright once you have the tank made you're gonna need to make the cap which would be this to actually fill up the gun and I will put a video on the screen of that now Hey guys, so this is how you make the filling cap for the air gun. You take your half inch PVC cap and you drill a hole in it. I'm not sure the exact size of the hole, but by the time you're done drilling the hole, it should be able to fit the tire valve thing you're using. Um, it should be able to fit it nicely. And um, after you're done drilling the hole, you stick the tire valve in and make sure that the top of the tire valve is about halfway up the PVC cap and then um, you fill it with again Gorilla Glue you fill it up to about the top but make sure no super glue is overlapping that little hole which um, which is uh, in the tire valve because that's where the air comes into the gun and um, what I've done is you need to let it dry for like I let dry for overnight, so maybe about eight hours or something like that before it's done. And what I've done is I've just taken scissors. You can use pliers. I've done that before. And um, I put the little nub of the tire valve, which is on the bottom here, 
I put that in between the scissor blades and then I taped this down because this was heavier than the scissors so it kept falling off so I taped it down taped it over here just so it wouldn't flip over sideways and um, that should dry in about eight hours so that is how you make the filling cap for the gun alright so once you have the tank and the cap made and um, they're all dry and everything all the super glues dry you take about two or three inch piece of PVC stick it in the cap and then into the T and then you take the tank I'm using a 12 ounce bottle instead of my usual 2 liter bottle for this gun just because I've never done it before and I think it'll look cool and there you pretty much have it it's not that hard really and um over here I've got excuse me I've got some stuff back here just in our crawl space storage stuff and some boxes are some of the guns that I'm not working on right now and here is just a um PVC barrel I made um it was for my original air gun like if you watch the me failing at shooting the um the glass bottle bucket just fell if um you watch that video this is the barrel I used in that I just had it back there whoops just broke it and um there you have it and um I will now go upstairs and actually pump up and shoot the gun for you guys hey guys so when I did this gun I didn't know that the 12 ounce bottle didn't work out for me I'm not sure if I had a leak in the bottle or if I just wasn't pumping enough but for some reason it didn't work out for me it may work out for you you can try it but um I would suggest just uh, keep using this two liter bottle which is one I made before but use the two liter bottle if you have one if for some reason you can't get a hold of a two liter which I can't think of a reason why but just if you can't you can try the 12 ounce but um for me it didn't work so yeah anytime I say the 12 ounce bottle in this video it actually means the two liter hey guys so now we're actually gonna shoot the gun this is the one I just made I did swap out the barrel just because it's longer and I like this one better and we will be shooting my nail dart which is right here at this scrap piece of 2x4 so I'm just gonna put you right there thank you and um taking off the barrel now putting the nail dart in and I will be pumping it 15 times and you may be able to hear it but there is a small leak that's just because I haven't PVC glued everything yet and we will get to that at the end of this video 15 times all right here we go three two one and it works just as good as my other gun it went straight into the board and paper went back a little I'm not sure if I can pull that out. <sighs> no, I can't. I'll just leave it and get it later. So, yeah, that's just to make sure the gun works. And now we will be going on to PVC priming and PVC gluing the gun. Hey, guys, so now I'm out in the garage with my gun, and this is where you PVC prime and PVC paint it. Um, I recommend these. I got them at Home Depot for about... Uh, like eight bucks and they were a set so it was eight bucks together which is pretty good for this stuff because usually it's expensive the purple is the PVC primer and the tannish is the PVC cement and what you do is you put the primer on first and it actually dries the pipe up. Alright guys, so this is how you actually prime and glue the gun. First, you take out the barrel. You definitely don't want to glue that, or else you won't be able to get the nail dart in. Then you should just take all the pieces out of the gun. All the PVC in between and everything. And I'm going to need a, um, 
a uh, some pliers for these two just because I stuck them in pretty good. So I will be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back and I got all the parts undone. So what you want to do is I usually start with the T, and you open up. Sorry, that's the cement. You open up the primer. Do it just like this. Tap it a little. Rub it on the inside. Put it back. Then just set it down somewhere to sit. You want to make sure the place is dry, so um, no dust or dirt or anything gets in it. And um, you also want to prime what you're putting into it. So with the T, it would be um, it would be this piece. So for this one, you want to prime the outside. And then just set that somewhere to dry. And these should dry in like, I don't know, five minutes at the most. So it's not very much. And now I'm going to take the tank, tap a little so none of it drips, prime it. And you want to make two or three good circles around the pipe. And um, here's the valve. Which way does it go? It goes this way. And you want to make sure you prime the part of the valve that you want going into the place with the air tank and not the barrel. Alright, so for, I forgot to mention this, but what you want to do is you also want to um, prime the two other sides of the T, because you'll be using both of them. And um, I didn't do this on this one, the um, cap. You can also prime that and glue that in, but I'm actually going to be switching this out and using it for another gun. Um, it shouldn't pop off if you don't glue it, but yeah, if you want to, that's fine too. But I make more than one gun, so um, what you do next is... Put the primer aside and actually take the PVC cement or glue. And now it's time to glue everything. I like to start from the back. So I, same way you put on the primer, put the glue on there, outside, here, inside, and then just stick them together. Make sure they're pretty tight. Alright, and once you put all the pieces in, all you have to do is set it aside in a place that it won't get knocked over and wait for three hours. Alright guys, so the gun is finished drying. It's been about three hours. Now I will shoot it for you to make sure that the gun isn't leaking, which it shouldn't be. Alright guys, so now I'm loading the nail dart in the barrel. And the barrel into the gun and once again I will pump it 15 times alright and there are no leaks now so that's good let's fire it three two one and once again right into the 2x4 and now I'll have to go get my pliers again to uh, get that out alright guys that concludes my tutorial on how to build a homemade air gun thanks for watching